What's up guys, this is the Rofan and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So run off up and last time, uh, we have seen the resulting Russian breakout following our declaration of war and we have decided to engage one of their armies that are pressing towards Prague and this is an army being led by Wellesley. And I have had the good fortune of replacing the six pounders with the nine pounders so we do outrange them with artillery. Um, but they have lots of lancers, and we only have one unit of light dragoons. So I'll have to be very careful this engagement. Because they will have. They are more mobile than me, but I have more firepower. So we need to make sure that things go how we want them to go. And I think that's a good little hill for artillery. So let's pick. So there's this little ridge here which is frustrating. Let's position four, five, six units of artillery, one flank. Plus my light infantry on the other flank. Artillery support on this flank. Well how it's a support on this flank. Same with the cavalry. Uh, the bulk of their cover is on this flank, but I've got lots of infantry, so I'm tempted. Meh. I'll do that. Okay. Artillery can be a great incentive for a defending enemy on hilly terrain, not to just sit there and wait for you. You can bomb. I know. That's what I intend to do. Come on. I mean, I'll take that. How it's just deployed on the defilade. Wellington in the centre. Cover on the flank. It would be useful to own this hill. It looks like they might be giving us an incentive to do something like this. all of their cavalry on the move. Let's have a look at their infantry actually. The first I'm not so sure of the hats when they have wide they flare quite wide like that. Oh and the general is a he's an experienced general. Didn't have many battle stars to him. Where is he? There he is. Didn't have many stars on the campaign map, but he's got four chevrons of experience. That's the same as Wellesley. To speed up time to get my oh yep yeah. so they are starting to engage us first so I want to soften them up I want to definitely want to knock out some of their artillery do not want to march headstrong into that glorious victories are huh? it's soon to be yours. oh god they're pushing as well Okay, men. Well, alley you. And limber. Lancers. You go for lancers. They're the most immediate threat. Okay, you guys are never going to make it there in time. So. General is under attack. So I want something like you guys here. You guys on this side. I need to be quick about it. All of my artillery. All of it engage the other the lancers. My dragoons on the left. Halt back your light infantry, so that's not great. Let's try to do a 
bit of the old switcheroo. Because I want to put a square unit on the flank. That's why I just want them all dead. Good. Hit their artillery up on the hill. Deploy my... Deploy my infantry. Nope. Some of my units were bound to get through. Some of their units were bound to get through, I should say. Come on. Smash straight into their militia. Actually, you go long. To be honest, they might, they might all have to blast whoever's in front of them. Uh, cavalry. Got a combat. You guys march up to threaten their artillery positions. These guys can continue engaging the infantry. Okay, you go for them. Go after them. Two centre units go after their artillery. God damn, my howitzers aren't doing the good they should be doing. Push up, because they're starting to see that as an opportunity to up to no good. You hit the 87th. Big old fight in the centre. They are light infantry. Light dragoons chase down militia. Foot infantry. I was about to say get involved, but oh, Cossacks are charging into my infantry. Okay, come on, lads. Reload and engage those militia. Good lads. I don't shoot them. Absolutely. Get in on the melee. Fire round shot into the square. Charge down into this Lancer unit. Oh no, they've routed two. Push up. Secure this secure this hill. All my artillery go to round shot, engage this Cossack unit in the rear. Push up. Where's Wellesley? Deploy the general.
in all three of these units. You guys form a square, one keep running up. Well, they chase down some musketeers. You guys run in this direction to try head off this unit of militia. turn off the artillery fire now because there's no nowhere is so strong that it requires such total domination it's the general staff Howitzers are still going, but that's okay. But now we will halt the howitzers. Taking pot shots at Wellesley. You're about to be charged. Let's turn fire well off on my light infantry because they're not involved. They should. Turn off. Oh, I didn't turn off very well. My bad. We have killed their generals, sir. Now they must break. Don't worry about the general. Chase down the musketeers. Continue. This is a useful opportunity. Good lads, speed up time. So with the Napoleon Pathfinding, I'm probably not going to get a whole lot of kills, but damn. We are still going to get a fair few kills. Enough to make it very worthwhile. So let's change the direction of you and now charge again. Good lads, these hussars are doing a great job. Are you the last one remaining? You are. They're going to route, so let's go back to my general. Seven men. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. So then let's take Wellesley and my cavalry. They are going to make it though. I don't care, damn you! There's only 12 of them as well. The Damn! Of fatigue, sir, and must rest a while. I don't care. Too bad they're going to escape. Damn right, it was a decisive victory. Good, so we lost 800 men, more than I'd like, but they lost 4,000, four fifths of their army near us. Damn it. They are routed. We'll hold in position and replenish. So we've seized the initiative here against Wellesley. These two chaps are a bit more of a problem. So let's move... Oh, the question is, if I move my Tyrol garrison, does that just... Oh no, they can't sneak south past Bavaria. But I can't get any other reinforcements there quickly. They can't make it. Well, you might make a good impromptu army. Well, 
You guys can't wait. You will march. There's transport forces there. So they are marching on Paris. But I think the garrison army we get will probably be good enough. And it's a small fort, so... Should be okay. It's just a damn shame this army's not ready to move up. I have no spies nearby, do I? And also diplomacy. Join war against... Okay, let's do join war against both of these and I'll offer you 20 grand. Kingdom of Saxony. I'll make the mixed drillets. Join war against all of them for 20 grand. And Kingdom of Saxony join wars against all of them for 20 grand. Portugal. Come on, let's get Portugal in as well. Seems unfair to not give all of my allies the same deal. And I know it's over the odds, not even lowballing it, testing the waters. It's just, I've got so much cash. Good lads. We have a grand coalition. So maybe the Portuguese army may march to the support of either Paris or they might even march on Luzerne. But I want these armies to be tricked into moving across the river. This Belgian stack could do something useful as well. Because I am still sceptical of these nations down here. You are still recruiting an army. Oh yes, and you were waiting for a purpose. So, where's... Have I got any other ships? You're blockading the Russians. That's what we want to do. Bring these guys over. Pick up the Copenhagen garrison, which there's no generals to recruit yet. And then I'd like to dump them out to go protect Norway, because I think we will lose it again. Well, I don't know. Depends what kind of garrison we get. Or to be honest, I could just use this army I've got here doing nothing. Too bad you couldn't they couldn't march in front. Stop is right now the, the garrison here has no job if they can't cross this straight. Then again they could deploy a navy to go do some sneaky stuff. But let's hit end turn. Oh, yeah. The flanking run around Transylvania is on the march. Ooh. The Austrians have sallied out. This was against Beresford. Dead eye Beresford. Let's do it. Kleist. So I'm always curious. Well, if I'm laying siege to the city, why why am I deploying in the in that makes? I mean, I know the fort isn't in the town, but it's not even though it's not as though we're even deploying. Well, a it's not fortified, so there is no other fort. But B, um, well, don't really have a B. I just think it doesn't make any darn sense. Four, five. Good. Deploy, deploy. Deploy. I wish my husband would stop slamming doors. I have to deploy. God, what is it? Okay, so then two line infantry, two British Dutch, and one black Brunswickers hold one flank. Especially because it looks like they've got cavalry going off to infinity. 
Good lads. Same treatment on this flank. Dragoons are a bit tricky to place. Probably on this flank, because that's the gen where the general is. I'd like to try to snipe him. Deadeye Brerisford take position up here. But they have no artillery. What is it with the AI and not building artillery? They either build none or all. Yeah, so let's just let my guns engage as they see fit. Because right now there's little incentive. Oh, the other guns are going to engage. They can try to hit the general or the captain. The Swiss, Swiss line infantry? Yeah. They look pretty darn good. Too bad they will get slaughtered the minute they march up the hill. I mean, what are you guys doing? <sighs> Dragoons. Let's provoke an attack. Because they're attacking me and their reinforcements coming in. I don't know where the reinforcements are coming from. God, these guns are wrecking them apart. Like they're... Like what are they doing? Like forming, forming a column to retreat or something. Okay guys, I'm going to cut it here and then I'll bring you guys back when something actually happens. So, see you in a sec guys. It must be fate, because as soon as I stop recording, they must have known. And now they're on the march. Quite clustered up, so I'm probably going to go take this flank. And do something like this. Cavalry is charging. I heard them charge. They keep deciding and then changing their minds. Some lancers way out on the flank. Which I could engage, but I'm winded. They're active, so even though I've got 20 more numbers, they'll do more damage on the charge. I need the heavy dragoon swords. So right now their cavalry is just getting shot to bits by my cavalry. Well, by my artillery. Mainly because I guess the cav the artillery just automatically picks. Oh, okay, hold on. Let's hop over to this. This battery. Because I, I, I know it like they love shooting at, our, at infantry when it's arrived. When it's artillery, sorry, when it's on the battlefield, but... I suppose when there is no infantry, it decides that cavalry is its is the most dangerous unit on the battlefield, and it goes for them. Okay, play, 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 play. Where are you? There you are. It's nice of them to not directly charge my men and give them a chance to form square. God, that guy went flying! He was stood in the front. Oh, it's the cavalryman. Good stuff. Oh, we're on a bit of a reverse slope on this flank, actually. So let's knock you chaps forward somewhat. Okay, what I might do is lim unlimit this artillery, deploy it back up on this hill, and then just start to pivot, because right now, they seem determined to want to make this their fighting ground. But I have no idea whether reinforcements coming in, so it'd be handy for this cavalry unit to route to see what that is. 
So you had cavalry charging again, but they decided not to. Okay, so that's what's okay. So they're coming on the field now. Oh, cool. Moly, 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 moly. Okay, so I immediately want to bring. Okay, I want to immediately spin these guys around. Deploy you guys there. Hell, maybe halt fire you guys. Bring these guys down like this. Oop, screen's gone black for a sec. There we go. Maybe deploy you guys to help bottle this flank up. But these guys... Run here. Run here. Run here. Because I would like to surround this little entrance point before they can even get on the map. But the problem is, is this big... The entire Austrian army. Fire will then barrage them. You are totally firing at the wrong thing. Engage them as they come on the field. Because the trouble is in Napoleon, you can run out of ammo quite quickly. So my Dragoon's still having at it. The general's the general isn't dead, but will soon be dead. Come on, march, march, march. Like, I don't know why the bulk of my cavalry just stood there and were letting dribs and drabs attack the general. It's like, no, all of you get stuck in. General staff is wavering and they're gone. Let's bring my cavalry back. I mean, it's still... It's far off, but it's still enough... Close enough to make, make a difference. Good, these guys are going to tear into those infantry crossing into the square. Infantry. Poor old Lanver. These lances are going to get engaged. Oh, they're on a reverse of a hill. I know, probably doesn't make much sense to be charging infantry into cavalry, but there we are. And I mean, if the general wants to charge into my infantry, have at it. Can't form a square. They got shot by my artillery. Okay, they split up from routing so we can spin some guys around. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Now they must break. Okay, now I feel sufficiently liberated to be able to do this. Because I've got these guys here as well. Square. These guys are just going to are just loading and firing as quickly as they can. Square. The land valve come back, so bayonet charge them. So 
bane it charges. Yeah, these guys are going to struggle. Trying to make make headway into this flank. So the scent is broken. Good, just annihilate this unit of landfare. Okay, so what I'll do is get these guys back here to help cut off their retreat. And here comes the line infantry. Well, it's something like this. The lancers are running back in, but they're already very depleted. Oh, they smashed into my... friends because that's for sure. Okay, push up. Good, they're already very upset. Let's get my cavalry through the gap to help try and chase down some of these Austrians. You guys walking? You are walking. No time for that. So get these guys in position to fire into the reinforcements coming in. It's a mass route. Counter charge their cavalry, pull they have a chance, and they're broken. Let's just bring Brerisford into the mix. No, don't draw don't be drawn like a magnet into the square formation. That's silly. Dragoons, why? Oh, forming squares everywhere. So let's try. So this is a complete route, so suddenly there's going to be lots of troops coming in from this part of the field. Three, two, one, square. Slim by those guns up at the back. Oh, holy moly. Cavalry head off their general staff. Could probably pull you guys back too. Probably going to lose our guns. We're going to keep providing pressure against the Austrians. So let's run. This infantry straight at him. He's interested in my general. Rally. 
Inspire. going to get caught sadly but that's okay our cannons were not dead but you know more or less useless back there get in there against the general hey our far artillery made it run this infantry over towards the other square oh, so they have actually managed to break you guys need to hammer it over this way yeah it's not surprising the coverage is going to run right like they can kill my guns if they want okay let's set up a new Defensive line. Yeah, that's gonna that'll happen. Oh god, my general. Lug it. Here comes Black Bob Crawford. All of you, fire like your lives depend on it, because they do. Let's just get you guys out of being flanked. Come on, Brun Brunswickers. Just take up their place in the line immediately. Nope, they've routed. Okay, let's pull these guys back. Oh, come on, next bridge. Oh, the cavalry came back? Yeah, it's fair enough. Oh god! Beresford, get the hell out of there! Infantry, get back in formation. Rally and inspire your men! Ninth Regiment of Horse have really earned their weight. <laughs> Just goes to show, though, what cavalry can do. What cavalry can do when they are uh, left undealt with. We've all got ammo still. So this formation is probably going to route because this unit of fusiliers on the flank is actually going to be pretty. What if stating to morale than, you know, anything proper? So get you guys up on this flank here. Yeah, that's the guns. Guns are easy to replace, though. Keep keep these units together. 
to maximize the firepower. Like, I'm gonna have to charge the general in. Because my cavalry seems to be doing a typically terrible job. It's probably gonna kill my general now. They've been on that much of a tear, they've killed all my artillery. Sir, your general has been <laughs> Called it! <laughs> oh, that's an MVP cavalry unit. Well then, let's get you guys into the mix. Good, so you've managed to make the artillery the over here route. Come back around. Them thematically interesting as well, because Bob Crawford did in fact die in the Peninsula War. Slice through Earl of Axbridge, go straight on and attack the Cheval Leger. Bayonet charge, then it is. Everyone go in. Is that the enemy general? I think it's just this unit. That's, yeah, they were just stationary. Charge in. German fused ears are steady, so they might actually hold on for quite a while. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Everyone charge onto this unit of German fusiliers. Poor old Bob. I like Bob Crawford. Brutal AF to his men, but damn if they weren't good. So let's get Bridge to hit the unit of Hungarian Fusiliers alongside the unit of Dragoons. Let's get my men general over here to this combat just to give them a bit of a... Well, no, I can't do it. Not with Bob Crawford. Okay, in which case... Have Adam. Get yourself in the, get yourself in the right position and then charge. Yep, yeah, that's probably my fault because the silly... General staff didn't want to come out to the right position. Good, come on, let's get you in as well, considering you have no ammunition. Everybody, like a uh, like like a white blood cell, just swarm and engulf everything you can see. That's a general staff. Hit into the back of those men. And they're routing. End the battle. It was a Pyrrhic victory, like the loss of Sir John Moore. The loss of it was that cavalry that had run around and done lots of good stuff in like knocking out the the artillery. And then it was a very weak combat against the against the Earl of Uxbridge cavalry unit plus my general unit. And he was like, "Oh, they managed to get the shot in." <laughs> so they pulled back. They've pulled back. Oh. I fear you will not be able to make a difference, sir. Oh, so here comes a Russian army, probably to go attack Courland. Hmm. This could be elements of the Courland garrison retreating. Because what you've got to bear in mind is it is coming up to... Ha oh, ha, you think you're going to get a city as easy like that, do you? Okay, you might get Bavaria, I'll admit it. What? Are you going to go for Tyrol? How odd. Okay, they've wanted to raid my university. All the way, just to raid, raid Paris. 
Good. Rise, my allies. The Sweden's fallen back, so this army is probably going to march. <gasps> well, that army's probably going to march on to Stockholm. Because why not? Screw you, Finland. You hate the Russians. Why did you side with them? Here comes the Portuguese army. Although I don't... As long as they do stay allies with me. This is a sneak attack into into uh, Paris. Charles Colville. Take command of the... Oh, damn it. It's probably going to be more... Actually, what have you got? So the cavalry can leave. Because we've got lots of really good cavalry. Maybe too much. Um, so what is it you don't like? So let's get you in. Oh, okay. Well, we don't need the light infantry. Because we've got um, the rifles. So we will send those out to go and attack this stack. Because they're the biggest concern. Everyone else has gone a bit loopy. Um, like I might make William de Dornberg attack Luzerne to draw them all into battle, but it would give them a garrison. So Munich's a bit more protected since the Belgians have arrived. They might even trigger a fort battle, which would be pretty interesting. So let's get so you know, Swiss Jäger and some light foot to help out. So let's get these guys back into Prague. If anything, I would like them to be there for a bridge battle, but it's a gamble if I get called into one myself. I'm going to gamble it. Hop them out. Ah, they've intercepted me. We're going to have to execute a river crossing, but we have superior artillery, so we can pound the hell out of them so there is no killing fields. So let's get to it. Detachment. Oh, it's just a... Oh, it's just a city battle. Oh, okay. God damn it, Kutuzov. Get up. But let's send him running back with a tail in between his legs, just like those previous... Right, that last previous Russian devil. Okay, up here is an excellent spot for an artillery park. Let's form up our battle line. Maybe not all of our infantry. They'll be on the march first. The foot infantry and the light infantry will be here to protect the artillery park. Howitzers will advance up behind my line. Cavalry on the flank. General in the centre. Yes. Give us maximum time to get into position. Ooh, okay. So let's put two units of foot infantry here. So this is all impassable terrain, except for... Oh no, it all is. Let's put my light infantry over here. And my line infantry on the... F very much on the flank. So our centre companies can go... Oh, that's frustrating. Positioning right there. To even so much so, I might actually deploy ahead of my guns to make sure there is no problem with this hill. Bring my howitzers up. Bring my cavalry up. We've got lots of artillery, but it's all bogged down inside the town. And lots of militia as well. Let's bring up my general staff, because he's quite inexperienced. And I am in need of experienced generals now against the Russians. Okay. Okay. 
run the infantry this infantry then when we unlimber these units they should be able to fire without killing my infantry okay so let's target the guns knock out their artillery I hear cavalry charges. Glorious victories, huh? <laughs> to be yours. Boom, 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 boom. Good God, here's their return fire. Oh, they're all against the just regiment of foot. Doesn't even have a number. Ooh, hello. They're sending a unit of Cossack cavalry ahead. God, the misses are actually getting some good kills against the infantry behind them. So this is good to knock out a gun, because they're so densely packed together. These guys are a bit trickier. Horse teams behind. Seems to be no trouble. But the actual guns, yeesh. Oh, I almost... Well, I mean, tag, th tag them with my cavalry. I mean, if they want to run across in front of all of my men, that's okay too. Okay. If I want to do a suicidal charge around across my line, then fair enough. Have at it. Oh god, they're coming. And they're limbering up as well. See the trap that my cavalry are going to get into. Let's push forward. How it's ready to rock and roll. Well, let's go get him. Oh, oh how it's a sore off their cavalry. Good God, they are coming along in the same old style. Okay, artillery, focus fire this lance cavalry because they're coming right at you. So much so, so much so. Let's do this. It's a pretty bad charge, really. Cavalry doesn't know who to shoot at. Oh, the Discord and massage. Let's retarget my artillery. So where are the Yeah, this is not in my favour. Oh, and they're also being fired upon, so let's get them out of the way. So they'll be very unhappy when the cavalry actually get into position. So let's pull my cavalry back fully. Oh, here we go. God, that's a fantastic artillery shot. Coming right on. Reload. Get one last volley off before they leave.
pouch shots in on the center over here. Delicious stuff, but they've got a big old charge in the center. Okay, let's curve these guys around. Send one of my cover on a flanking run. Oh, the general has just made them all a bit more chipper. God, you, need, you, you guys need to run. Even then it's probably needed to run. Because this is a big old focus charge. So much so, let's... We target my artillery. How it says do... Because they're coming on. Chasseur Britannique and my riflemen are going to skirmish the artillery. Good God. My howitzers are doing lots of friendly fire. Hey, you're a general. You're a unique general. Let's shoot him. Form square. Inspire. Rally. Sir, Chasseur sir, Britannique. Our, our general is under attack. We'll take position looking at the guns. All my rifles have a pop at their general. Yep, general staff is very, very peaky. You may even run. Oh, they did pop there. Yeah, they have, they have pop shots off on him. Especially the Britannique are going to force... Well, they're forcing the artillery to stay mobile. Okay, lads. Come on, Dragoons. Let's go get him. Advance the flank around. Cavalry, get that general. So you want to push up. You've been caught out by my general, Kutuzov, me old mucker. Wherever he is. with quotes. Nope, they have reformed, so be careful with my general. Let's get him out here on the flank.
So they come again. This is even our, this is before the days of the KGB. So they got no one at home threatening to kill their parents. So if gunners are just going to come in. No, actually get my get my general to do something useful. Chasseur Britannique, form a gun line and shoot down those I'm gonna kill my rifleman, are you? All my artillery, engage the militia. No, don't charge. Okay, you guys spin around. Artillery engage the militia. Skirmish order, chase down those militia. Well, that artillery unit. Charging my general. And the speed up time, because right now. <sighs> yep. Absolutely continue. We need to teach these devils that they can't just expect to invade our lands and <laughs> it be. It'd be taken and opposed. I mean, there's an artillery unit running away, but it's better to get them over here, like dragoons over here. Where well, they can do more good. Dragon. I mean, they're just militia at the end of the day, so it's not. Let's turn off fire at will just to make sure I don't shoot my own my own dudes Russian devils God, they do like to scatter don't they the Russians eventually they'll make it to the outside Yeah, my house is not firing. The man of are Ooh. Rest of okay, you go after that one guy. <laughs> that one cavalryman. That one infantryman, sorry. Gunner. That's what it was. It was a gunner. Okay, I'm going to take these guys away from chasing down that unit because they're going to rout any day now. Oh no, that was the unit that didn't wasn't going to rout. Dang nabbit. 78 men leading the race. Too bad. They're going to escape. But still, this is a very very nice win to have for our forces decisive victory awesome look at that nailed it swines um anyway uh, looking at the timer i think i have overran by some a measure <laughs> so um well actually well actually i won't end it like that i will that's it. Let's bash into him and destroy the army. Let's send for reinforcements of a foot unit from Prague. Good. Suddenly their position in here in Ulmutz looks very vulnerable, especially with Frederick Adam waiting to push in. Actually, he's going to lay siege to them anyway. Maintain siege for now. Cool. But the one thing I was going to do before I end the part is to take this army. Engage Sergei Kamensky. Gonna engage him. Look at him. Oh, he's an experienced general. 
Um, but as I said before, looking at the timer, I think this is the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the butchering of another Russian stack. Radio. See you guys. <laughs>